zaidi ya watu 15 wamepoteza maisha yao kufuatia mvua ya Nino ambayo inaendelea kushuhudiwa katika baadhi ya maeneo tofauti humu nchini. Serikali pia inasema zaidi ya familia 1080 zimeathirika na mafuriko. Idadi kubwa ya watu wamehama kutafuta makao mbadala. Haya kijiri hofu imetanda kuhusu mkurupuko wa magonjwa ya watoto wakiripotiwa kuanza kuugua maradhi mbali mbali. Huyu hapa Kevin Mutai kutoka Mombasa na uketo wa taarifa hiyo. Hali inazidi kuwa tete kaskazini mwa Kenya wakazi huko Mandera kwa mfano wakikabiliana na makali ya garika inayosababishwa na mvua inayoendelea kunya maeneo hayo wenyeji huko Mandera wameashiria mahangaiko yao kutoka na barabara ambazo hazipitiki baada ya kusombwa na mafuriko na kuacha wenyeji mashakani Hali ya maisha katika eneo hizi ya Mandera imekuwa juu kabisa e, ya kwamba Uh, ukienda kwa soko hautapata uh, bidu za kununua kwa sababu barabara imekatika specifically Kutulo road need a very immediate intervention maybe from the uh, partners that is of concern specifically the Kenha Mvua hiyo ya El Niño pia inaendelea kwa tishio kwa wenyeji wa Tana River ambao sasa mamia wanazidi kuhama makwao wakihofia mto Tana kuvunja kingo zake na maji kuandama watoto kwa wazee wote wako mbioni wakikwepa majanga hivi leo nini maji imejaa sasa huu mkononi hatujui kama itapasuka hatujui sasa sisi hiyo soko mwenye mzigo nyingi unaangia hapa mzigo unatolewa honda watoto wana simaona barabara hujaona watoto wanabeba zombo ni tarupi sahi sahi ni kwa kutoa vyombo na Iko na mtoto, iko na mzigo. Wengine hana pesa. Unaenda tu hivi hivi unaenda. Wengi sasa wameweka hema kwenye barabara kuu ya Malindi na Garissa. Ikisemekana vijiji ambavyo vimeathirika zaidi ni kama Dumi, Bandi, Hantaraku na hata Hodole. Na national government pia wajaribu kuleta chakula haraka. Na ke watu saa hii wanahama na hawana chakula na wako na watoto wajauzito so tuna urge government wafanya bid waletee hao watu wetu chakula as Kenya Red Cross we promise that all those who have moved from this area that will provide them with shelter and and mosquito nets and any uh, basic needs that they may require so we are also urging other community members who are in the areas that probability of them being marooned is high to move to the higher grounds now kwa sasa serikali ya county Mombasa pia inatishia kuvunja majengo yaliyojengwa kwenye mabomba ya kupitisha maji taka ili kukabiliana na mafuriko yanayoandama wenyeji wake it's a very 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 extremely tough it is very historic in nature it is tough decisions that have to be made ikiwa itabidi itabidi For Mombasa so far we've got 3892 households that have been affected and uh, some have been displaced that is around 300 households who have lost their dwelling wenyeji pia wanakodoliwa macho na mkurupuko wa magonjwa Uh, zaidi tumepata watoto ambao wako na homa za mapafu uh, tumeweza kuwatibu vile vile tumetembelea nyumba takriban 12 ambazo ziko na wagonjwa ambao wako na tabu kutoka wale watu wazima sana wamama wajawazito ambao hawajapata zile huduma za clinic na wale ambao wamezaa na hawajaweza kufikia uh, clinic kwa sababu hizi uh, barabara zimekatika kadhalika mvua hiyo pia imetatiza usafirishaji wa mizigo bandarini shirika la reli likisema kuna sehemu ya reli ya kisasa ambayo inashuhudia mmomonyoko wa udongo mpango sasa umewekwa ikiwemo kupunguza idadi ya treni za kubeba makasha huku zile za abiria pia zikitatizika kwa kuchelewa Kevin Mutai NTV Kenya County ya Mombasa